What's going on everyone? My name is Nicholas Merton here at Data Dash and today is October 18th of 2017. Well, folks, as you all keep up with the channel, you all know that from time to time, I like to share a trading tip or two here on the Data Dash channel. And today, we're going to be going back to our technical roots. I know for those of you out there who keep up with every episode, it seems like we've been going more towards a trader's philosophy, you know, finding opportunities to buy or to sell on specific price action or trends. Well, today we're going to go back towards our technical side, and we're going to be going down to the shortest level we can analyze possible candle patterns. Now, I know it seems kind of ironic. Nick, the guy who always tells us to long-term invest is now telling us about how to analyze individual candles. Is he telling us all to day trade now? No, guys, I'm not telling you all to day trade. However, I am telling you how to analyze one to two to three candles and certain patterns and find ways that you can spot trends before they happen. Now, before I talk about the two we're going to be talking about today, there's there's so many we have to cover throughout the series, but we'll be breaking them down in other episodes. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about two, but before I dive into them, I need to make two points clear. Uh, first off, outside of the rules that these candle patterns have, it is completely subjective. You and I could see something completely different on a chart, whereas one of us might see there being a candle pattern there, another person might completely disagree. So it's important to learn about the rules more than anything to truly solidify if something is what it appears to be. And along with that too, because it's so subjective, much like all of technical analysis, you have to keep in mind that it isn't a surefire indicator that something's going up or down. Again, we have to keep honest and humble here, folks. And we have to use a variety of indicators to kind of get a picture as to where things might go, whether it be to the upside or downside. So without further ado, now that we made that clear, let's go ahead and dive into some of these candle patterns. And today we're gonna to be talking about two very common ones you'll see inside cryptocurrency markets as well as stocks if you do stock trading as well. The two patterns we're going to be talking about are engulfing candles and re hammer reversals, okay? So these two you'll see very often, and they come in their two variations, one to the bullish side and one to the bearish side, okay? So we've got four examples that we're going to be looking at today and diving into so you can get a clear picture and understand what these rules look like visually on a chart in real time, all right? So let's go ahead and dive into it. The first one we're going to take a look at here is ARC. Okay, so ARC here, uh, this is some price action back in uh, May going in uh, to uh, from the beginning of the month to the end. As you can see, ARC was going through a nice little pullback. Now, the two candles we're going to be focusing on are right here at the end. And there's going to be a reason I'll show you later on as to why I left it at these two candles. So in an engulfing candle, we're going to be looking at the bullish one first. This is an indicator that something might move up to the upside. In a bullish engulfing candle, there's a few rules that need to be met. And before I dive into those rules, I need to make sure I get my definitions clear with all of you watching, because I don't know if you all know the lingo of the, or the definitions uh, per se of a candle, okay? There's a few different parts. There is an open, a close, and the wicks on a candle, okay? So for a green candle, where's the open at? Well, it's right here. It's, it's where the, uh, the bottom of the candle is. And then also the closing is up here. Okay, so that means that, you know, the candle opened up here for its price action and then it closed up here, signaling that it went up for the day. Okay, and then along with that, we have these little thin white lines along with the candles. These are what's known as the wicks. Okay, and the wicks is um, an, an indicator that the price moved in that certain price range during that time period, in this case, a day. So we visited this price action, but we didn't close at here or here. We closed up here and we opened at this price. Okay. So we have the open, the close, and the wicks. Just want to make sure that lingo is clear. Now that we're talking all the way down to candle levels. So to dive into what a bullish engulfing candle is, it's going to require two candles. We have one right here where the price range was relatively short. And we could see that it was just kind of tugging against this 10,000 support. It was holding there very nicely. But along with that, we have this candle here that completely engulfed all of the price action of the previous day and closed at a high above all of the price action of the previous candle. This is an engulfing candle. Those are the two rules of an engulfing candle and it can show a sign of optimism. So again, the two rules of an engulfing candle, you have a, a previous day that has a certain price range. It doesn't matter how much, usually it's usually a pretty small price range. Um, and the two rules that meet within the engulfing candle is that that candle meets all of the previous price range of the previous candle and then also closes well above any of the price range of the previous candle. Now, the more that it closes above this, the more bullish of an indicator that it is, okay? Now, in this case, this is a pretty good engulfing candle example. Now, you could probably find some better ones out there, but this one will definitely do. It meets both of the rules. And we'll see, and there's a reason why, you know, I kept it at the end here, because this is past price action. Let's see what happened afterwards. 
a massive run up in ARK. We had the second uptrend. So an engulfing, a bullish engulfing candle can be a great indicator that something is going to break towards the upside. So keep it on your radar. They're commonly spotted, especially before uptrends, okay? So a great candle pattern to look for, very common in markets. All right, so next up, we're going to be taking a look here at Dash, okay? Now, with Dash, uh, Dash is a great example over here. I Sorry, my, my chart was a little bit over to the left side. Uh, with the opposite in this case, okay? We're going to be looking after Dash has had a great run-up. You know, it's been killing it on the price action comparative to Bitcoin. But like all things, pullbacks eventually will kick in. And all the exuberance can be made up in just a few days. I'm going to keep on ingraining those statements in your head. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but... In this case, we're going to be looking at the opposite. Now, you might already know, seeing as we were talking about a bullish engulfing candle, now we're talking about a bearish engulfing candle, the opposite, something that is pointing that we're most likely going to be having a downtrend. And this right here, these two candles are the examples that we're going to be looking at. As you can see, we had a short price range here, you know, nothing much going on here, kind of topping out at previous highs. And then we had a bearish engulfing candle where the candle had opened up here and it tried to get above and it actually did for a while to sustain try to try and sustain highs above the previous day, but it could not hold it and it came down and made a much larger price uh, price range to the downside and closed at lows outside of the previous candles price range. So this is a perfect example of a bearish engulfing candle. As we can see, it was a clear indicator that we had some serious room to the downside, okay? So again, just like a bullish engulfing candle, you can find this all the time at tops on cryptocurrencies, especially, I found them a lot, and this is just my personal experience when you have double tops, but that's not, again, that's just a subjective thing. I've seen that a lot. So again, look out for these just as much as you do when you're looking for buying opportunities. You gotta know when to sell, and sometimes this can be a great indicator to get out of something, okay? All right, so next up, we're going to be looking at reversal hammers, okay? Or hammer reversals, sorry, I mix up the two words sometimes. Hammer reversals. Now, hammer reversals, again, much like the other form, are relatively subjective, but they have a general rule set to them, okay? And they can have different levels of strength behind them as well, which is why they can be sort of subjective. We're taking a look here at Stratus before uh, a big run-up in its price action. And as we can see here, Hammers are much like what the, you would think they'd look like. Have you ever played, for example, uh, maybe like, uh, I think it's like Donkey Kong or something, like the big hammers with the big round kind of, almost kind of barrel-shaped drum on it. Uh, that's exactly what you want to kind of look for here in the sense of a hammer um, or, or a reversal, a hammer reversal. So, for example, let's see if we can spot some of them around here. Well, this is a hammer right here. It's a little bit of a thick one. The, the, the candle itself, outside of the wicks, it needs to have a very long wicks at the bottom in the case of a, um, a bullish version of a reversal hammer. Uh, we want a long drawn out wicks in the bottom, a short one at the top, and a short range of price range. It doesn't matter if it's red or green. It's usually when it's been sold off to the downside and we find support at some range and have a nice stellar bounce upwards. This is an example. There's a few of them. Here's one right here. Here's one right here. Uh, you could say this is possibly one right here. This is more of a, a, a different type of candle we'll talk about later in the series. This and this right here are perfect examples of a, uh, a bullish uh, hammer reversal, okay? Now, we see all these hammers all around. We don't just simply have one. What happened after this? A huge uptrend to the upside. So, actually, I don't even think that's it. Yeah, we can keep going and this gets larger and larger. But again... This is a great signal to look for when you're looking for potential outbreaks. Bullish uh, hammer reversals can be, yet again, just like bullish engulfing candles, a great sign that something is going to break out. Uh, but again, if you see multiple of them, again, as I said with indicators, it's all kind of, it's not a guarantee. If you see one, it's, it's time to buy. No, that's not true. But if you see multiple of them and it starts sustaining price action and the hammers start getting a larger range of price range where it finds this kind of, you know, these really long wicks where it finds support at big events and it shoots back up. It's like, no, we're not going down to the downside. We're going to hold these levels. And as it goes higher and higher, it shows confidence in the price action. It shows that it wants to go for higher levels, not lower levels, and that the bulls are winning comparative to the bears. All right. So another good thing to look out for. Now we're going to look at the opposite of that, the reversal. Okay. So we're going to be looking at a bearish hammer reversal. So this is when, you know, the trend has been going to the upside. We had some great price action in this example for first blood. And now we're looking to see if it can sustain its levels. Well, 
we can see if we look around the chart here a few examples of the opposite of what we were looking for earlier, which in this case is a bearish case scenario for a hammer reversal. Can you spot a few of them? Well, I can spot a few right here. I can see one right here. I can see one right here. You can see one right here. A lot of these right here are pretty much <laughs> bullish hammers right here. I'm sorry, uh, uh, bearish hammers. And uh, we can see one right here. And uh, you know, you could probably find some other ones on the chart. We got one right here as well. But again, spotting multiple of these can be a sign that look something's looking to go to the downside for quite some time and that it's been overbought again it's subjective and you know some people might disagree as to what is you know uh but you know what is a, a bearish hammer but at the end of the day it's much like the opposite of a bullish hammer reversal it's when the wicks is drawn out larger to the upside and we have a little thick range of price action and then a short wicks at the bottom for support, okay? So it, the reason why that this is a bearish sign is because it shows that it had the hype, it had the price range to come up, but it couldn't hold it. And if we have multiple signs of that over and over, you know, that shows that there's not much strength there. Whereas on the opposite side with the bullish case, as I go back here real quick, we can see that it was pulling back to this range, but the selling wasn't remaining. It was coming back up and it was holding its price stability at the levels that it closed. So again, these are two great types of candle patterns that you can use in their different variations to spot trends before they happen in cryptocurrencies as well as stocks. They're some of the best that you can engrave into your head. And once you start spotting them, you'll never go back. You'll start seeing them everywhere on charts. Uh, and again, you want to make sure to really look for the solidified ones. Don't try to you know, subject yourself to saying, oh, I mean, you know, this is this is the best example right here. This means that it's time to sell. Don't let your, you know, your cognitive bias kick in on this. Try to be fair, try to be subjective and critical of your own technical analysis, because quite frankly, no one else is going to be as critical on you as you are. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you all have another topic that you want to see covered on the training tip series, leave it down in the comments down below. You know, I love getting feedback. And if you all are interested in these candle patterns and you have some specific ones that you've heard of, but don't really know about or understand in a fundamental sense, I'll be happy to cover those and prioritize those out of the dozens that there are to cover in this series. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Stay tuned.